Okay, so IGN have just released a whole eight minutes of brand new campaign gameplay footage, which they're calling um, the DB campaign. I so, so needed to see more of what the Coalition are working on and what Giz4 has to offer, as I am literally counting down the days until the release date. Okay, so if you want to check out the footage in full, then head over to IGN's channel. But what I've come up with for you guys is a series of screenshots which highlight what I feel are the best, the most exciting, and of course the most important elements to be shown in the video. So let's get stuck in. Now of course for the opening screenshot, I had to have the opening scene, and straight away we are greeted with what I feel are gorgeous visuals of amazing scenery, and we get to see that amazing view of Marcus and his son JD, which I know we've all been super excited about. Now, it doesn't really take long before things kind of get pretty exciting, and something is dropping from the sky. Okay, what is this? This looks unusual. Mine's starting to be blown. Is this really robots in Gears of War we see? And yes, guys, it really is. You're not seeing things. This isn't some other game. He really is shooting a robot in front of him. Now, we get a really good view straight away. We know they've burst out of some funny looking little red pods and already the gun looks a bit different that JD's using here. So straight away as well, we know we've got new weapons coming in. So just here we have another view of the DBs up close. I know there's been some rumors as to who created them and I'm sure that will all come out shortly. Whether that was in fact Damon, we will be yet to find out. We also see here like a little sneak peek on the D-pad of where we know we have some new weapons. So straight off we have one here called the Enforcer and there's also a custom Lancer. So it's going to be exciting to see what other new weapons crop up and also what those look like in closer detail. And of course get our hands on them for ourselves and see how they actually play. Now one thing I noticed from watching the video and you'll be able to see from these screenshots here is how cool the robots look but also how sort of intuitive they are and how sort of aggressive they are in coming at you which I felt was really cool and it showed that they're not sort of easy um, AI that are hanging back, they were sort of coming at you and really making you get stuck in with the game and also we saw as you can see here that there was like an execution element so I thought that was really cool to see that despite them being robots we're still getting kind of right first hand using the knife there and kind of getting stuck in and killing him and we get to see in this visual like real close up detail as to what the DBs look like and um, for anyone who's interested obviously that gives you a really great view so here he is just kind of cutting him in half which is pretty cool to see Moving on, we have another little sneak peek at weapon. We don't really get to see it properly here. We just see the name. It's called an M-Bar. So I know later on you'll get to see that in a little bit more detail. So I won't waffle on here. And also we now have a second kind of class, I guess, of these DBs. So not only do we have ones running around kind of coming to kill us, we also have ones in the sky. And one thing I noted as well is these ones seem to have some kind of shield. So... I think this is going to be quite interesting for the gameplay. We kind of have um, things attacking us on two different levels, which I think makes it a bit interesting and adds like another element to the game. So um, we get a good view here of them fighting and coming at us together. And also there's a shot here which shows one of the DBs kind of launching himself over the wall coming at us. So again, let's say I think that's quite good. They seemed really intuitive and aggressive and I like that kind of style from AI where it kind of keeps you on your toes a bit and you're not just hanging around you know, waiting for them. Here we get another view of the D-pad. So again, we have this um, weapon here, the Enforcer and the Custom Lancer. So like I say, it'd be interesting to have a play at those. And here he picks up, we have a brand new one called the Overkill. So that's obviously another one that's been chucked in to try. And a good view here of the DB in the sky with that shield that I was referencing. And we can see where he shoots it with this Overkill, how it does take the shield apart. And then obviously he's a little bit more vulnerable to attack. So it'll be quite exciting to see how that actually plays out in the game. So he takes down that one and runs over and, okay guys, what's this? We've got another new weapon on the floor and this one seems to be like a version, I think, of the Mulcher. It's called the Tri-Shot, so um, he kind of rips that off of the robot so it looks like obviously that's the weapon that they use and we take over that, which is like a kind of standard element in Gears that we've had before. And we can see him here picking up and running it. I just thought this scene was just really pretty. I love kind of all the detail that they have here and this is the... HDR version so obviously not everyone may get such good graphics but 
I just think the level of detail they've put into the scenery looks really cool. And as he goes into this next scene, obviously I can't repeat because of some of the language, but there is a really great joke here from Marcus, which there's lots of talk, I think, at the moment of people saying it's not Gears, it's kind of gone away from the Gears game and that kind of thing, but the humour element that comes in here and the way uh, the style of play, to me, is just what Gears is all about. So when you see the video, I'm sure you guys will have a chuckle along as well and see what I mean and uh, agree with me on that humour aspect. So here we have some great shots of JD. He's still carrying that tri shot. And I thought this was really cool because we get to see it kind of properly up close and in action. You can see him just blasting away at the robots. And he's mounted that on the table next to Marcus's precious tomatoes. And another one here, which was a real good close up of the DBs, I thought that was great to include because again, we get to see all the level of detail that they've kind of got into. And yes, they're robots, which we haven't had in Gears before, but you know, let's stay open minded people and just enjoy it for what it is with the gameplay. Moving on, we have a good view here of the M bar, which she picks off off the floor. So it'd be interesting to see all these different weapons that come in. Again, I'm sure there'll be lots of criticism for the different weapons, but kind of that's just the way it's always is with games. It's the same with all the Gears games that are out now. There's, you know, different favorites for everyone. So I think until we all pick up the game and play it ourselves and see how they work in real life, then we can't really judge too much from a gameplay video. So my next scene here is a shot showing, again, I think amazing scenery. I love the work the Coalition have done here with the detail. And it also touches upon the realistic weather elements that we got to see in the E3 footage. So I think that's cool as well. It kind of really makes you feel immersed in the game. And, you know, like everything's that little bit more real life, which obviously with the graphics as well is a really fantastic touch. And like I say, I just feel that the level of work they've gone to with the scenery really makes a difference. One other thing that I noticed, which obviously you can't really tell from the screenshot, but it's one I've included here, was the different style of the roadie run. So anyone who kind of plays Gears knows it does tend to kind of bob up and down and it, it doesn't always feel that smooth. But one thing I noticed with this footage is that it kind of goes a little bit side to side and it seemed a lot smoother when they're running along. So I'm quite excited to see how that's going to pan out when we actually play because that's those little touches that people that play Gears a lot will kind of, I think, really pick up on as opposed to someone new maybe coming in and playing the game for a first time who maybe just wouldn't notice that. But I thought that was great to see that things look smoother and the mechanics as well with getting into cover and that kind of thing I noticed looks really smooth. So um, again, I know, especially when you play online, that's just something people are always raging about, you know, getting stuck on walls and that kind of thing and it, it not really feeling that smooth. So I'm hoping that that's something perhaps they've listened to and picked up a bomb. With this next slide, it might seem like a random one to include. They're just opening a door, but this kind of touches upon the same thing I mentioned earlier about the kind of true gears elements. And for me, this was one of them. I always enjoyed that team play kind of feel with the game and it may be something as simple as opening the door together, but okay, we have robots, but this was just like another touch for me that brought it back to that gear style. So that's why I kind of thought I was gonna include that one. And now he's entered this room, we can see this is actually the M bar. And I thought this was a really great view actually. This is one of the best views I think of the new weapons that we get. And I thought it was cool to see a little bit more up close and him actually using it and where he's crouched in cover here, we can get to see a really good view of it. So. For any weapons fans, that's kind of a good shot there to have a look at. And for these final kind of few shots, or well, these next few, I've just included, these are really like, I guess, views of the characters. We've all been so excited to see old man Marcus and his grey beard. <laughs> and I just thought this was a really cool view of him. And then you get to see the other characters as well, um, like Kate. So we get to see her and, and the level of detail on her armour as well, which I thought was pretty cool. And of course, another view of Marcus up close as he's, he's making some not very good decisions in this scene. So again, like I say, if you see the footage, you'll know what I'm talking about. And with these final shots, it was like, I guess, um, Armageddon coming down with the plane coming onto them. And again, it's just where I feel that the Coalition have done a really great job with the scenery and making things feel realistic and the kind of level of detail with the shots. I thought that the whole scene looked really great. It was almost like you could be in a movie. Again, like I say, this was the HDR version, but even still, I think if you're not playing that one, you're just playing the regular one, I think it's still going to look great. So excited to see the work they've done there. And for this final shot, I just thought it was just classic. It's like Marcus, he's being a crotchety old man. 
The um, armour here I think looks fantastic. It's so cool to see really up close. It looks like the old fashioned armour and we get to see the kind of cog logo in the middle. So I really like to see that element and the detail in his face as well makes him look realistic. Because faces, I don't know about you guys, but they always look a bit naff to me. And I thought his face actually looked really good here. So I thought I'd just throw that one in as the last one. So that's all the screenshots. Um, like I say, I, of course with social media, this is a reaction video and we're kind of viewing it and giving my thoughts, but there's no getting away from the fact that even before I was about to view, I'd seen all over social media that yes, there was robots in gears and I don't know, there had been like, to me, it seemed like a real negative reaction from a lot of people. Of course there was some support as well, so that was good to see. Um, in my opinion, I just thought it looked awesome. I mean, maybe that's just because I'm such a Gears fan. They could kind of throw anything at me and I'd still be excited. But to me, it just looked really cool. It looked really fun. It just made me really excited for October to come along and be able to pick up that pad and play the game. So um, for me, having robots, it still, it changed, obviously. Yes, they're, they're different, but it kind of still had those key elements that made a Gears game running through the whole kind of scene to me so I'm really excited about it I mean I'd be really intrigued to see what you guys you know what your thoughts are so don't forget to post some comments down below or kind of give us some feedback on Twitter or Instagram wherever you like tend to hang out I guess and um, of course like and subscribe because there's loads more content coming soon if you haven't seen them check out the toy Tuesday videos like I say every Tuesday there's some great ones on there particularly if you're a hardcore Gears fan and I shall catch up with you soon cheers guys bye bye